welcome back to my channel. I am currently filming in the morning again. I think this is becoming a new trend for me. I actually um, enjoyed filming um, in the morning last time. But anyways, I actually have a full day of errands to run today. Um, I am actually, I actually started school yesterday, so I already feel worn down. It was one day. I already feel very worn down and I still have two more classes to experience uh, for this semester. So today's my day off. I have a bunch of stuff to do. So I actually really wanted to do um, a little first impression of a bunch of things I got over the weekend uh, upon my last video, which was my empties. I had let you guys know that I will be going to Sephora in the mall. I did pick up some stuff there, some stuff that was um, on my little wish list for a while, and I just wanted to try that on camera. And hopefully we'll see how it goes. So let's just get into it. I'm going to go ahead and just do skincare from beginning to end. Usually I have some stuff on by the time I'm on camera. That was the Mario Badescu uh, facial spray. This is the lavender one. I told you guys I'm not a fan of this. It's not bad, but I prefer the other ones um, better than this. Next I'm going to do sunscreen. Sunscreen is like the most important thing you can put in your on your face. It's the most important part of your uh, skincare process and if you're not using sunscreen your other products aren't gonna work as well so just keep that in mind use any sunscreen the best sunscreen to use is the one you have trust me next I'm gonna use a moisturizer I got this uh, over the weekend this is from the body shop it's the vitamin C glue boast glue glue <laughs> glow boasting I haven't had coffee again why do I function without coffee on camera glow boosting moisturizer and this is for dull tired and grumpy skin. My skin is not grumpy, but it seems to be dull and tired. So we're going to use this. This is what it looks like. I love how this falls. I actually really like the Body Shop. I don't, I haven't used as much of their stuff as I want to, but I really like their um, drops of youth, uh, what's it called? It's like peel, this peel thing. Oh my God, that's so good. I'm just getting that on here again. Hard to do with your hijab one, but this is better than last time, right? <laughs> um, so, I have really dry skin, guys. So even if I feel like I'm moisturized, I'm not moisturized. <laughs> so, I feel... How did I not have a mirror in front of me? I was just using the viewfinder as a mirror the whole time. <sighs> okay, there we go. Much better. Okay. And then after that, we will do... Ooh, we will do eye cream. You know, my favorite one is this one. Laneige Water Bank Eye Gel. I actually have a skincare fridge right behind me. That's a little blue thing there. Right there. And I keep this in it along with other uh, skincare products. And I don't think there's any studies found as to why you should refrigerate your skincare products. But I think it just feels really nice. It's just like a luxury that I like, to be honest. That's what it is. So, I'm just... Putting the eye cream with my ring finger, dabbing that onto my under eyes, my eyelids. Okay, and then we're going to use a little bit of lip balm and Argan Infinity Creamy Oil. Putting that onto my Every time I think this is done, it's not. So you guys, I've been like rearranging my makeup, so I have all my concealers in here now. And I rearranged my, I don't know if I should show you because I don't want to ruin my camera setup. Maybe I'll show you at the end. I'm just going ahead with a bronzer again. This palette is not even sold here. I got it as a gift when um, from someone from my aunt in Germany. So it's not even sold here. It's just a bunch of bronzers. Oops, let me see if I can show you guys. You can't even find this here, so I'm not going to bother naming it for you, but it has a bunch of um, bronzers, and I'm just putting it over my lid. Per usual, you guys know my everyday, I always like to put something in my lids, like just bronzer. I feel like it gives a little more depth. So next we are going to go with the actual important part of this video. So I got these over the weekend. So this was on my list for a long time. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX replenishing face primer this was so expensive it was like $46 or $48 I don't know it was the cheapest one out of the ones I wanted so let's just be sad for all of us and next I got the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation 
I know the original Fenty foundation. I don't think it goes super hydrating and I've heard from people it kind of makes them look dry so I didn't even want to bother trying it. So I saw there's a highlight, a highlighting, a hydrating version. So obviously I'm going to go for the hydrating version. That's what it looks like. I'm so excited to use this. I got it in the shade 140 and I know this is, I don't know if this is my shade. Um, I had to get, I was looking at swatches while I was there. I spent so long in Sephora that day. I'm pretty sure that like employees were walking around with their headsets like tell, like thinking, why is that girl not leaving? We are still using Vasanti, still going strong. I alternate between this and the Tarte. Uh, CC corrector, I think. So I'm show you this one, under eye corrector, but this uh, goes a little lighter, so I I think it's good for me to keep that for winter time because I know this will be not practical when I am at my palest. Go to hand blend. Oh my god, I was supposed to put primer on first. Whatever, that's fine. So stupid. <sighs> Okay, let's just hope for the best. Uh, that's fine. Okay, just color correcting. Okay, so doing what I was supposed to be doing before. I'm going to put my Too Faced primer on. I'm so excited for this. Just going to. And I'm gonna use my hands, which you guys know I'm not a fan of, but I will. <laughs> So, you guys be honest, do you think my acne's gotten any better? I feel like it has. I still see like dark spots, discoloration, but I feel like it's improving every day. It makes me so happy because this was long time running, like, you know, anyone who deals with acne probably knows like when you've dealt with it for so long, you kind of at one point think like, okay, this is my face forever. I know that's like so rough, but this is honestly what I thought. But now that it's starting to fade, I just feel so, like, happy. It's a long journey with your acne, and I know it's frustrating. Anyways, not the point of this video. We're going to go on with the Fenty um, foundation. I'm just going to go ahead and... What did I do? Go ahead and see if I need to touch up my corrector, because I did it the other way around. So, it's, like, cloudy, and I think it's going to rain, or it has rained, because the, you know, the ground looks like it's rained. And I know everybody like associates this kind of weather with like depression and it's depression, depression, depressing weather. I actually really enjoy it. I don't know why I'm shaking this. It's in a tube. <laughs> but I really like the rain, which is like convenient for me because I live in Vancouver where it's like rain cooler. But that heat, wave, that heat wave we had for so long, we went like more than 30 days without rain, which is like unheard of for Vancouver. Okay, I don't want that to drip. This is like a pump and a half. Oh, let me see if I can show you guys. That's a pump and a half. This palette looks so gross. I swear I just washed it. It's just like stained from all the damage I've done to it. And we're gonna go and blend it with a beauty blender. So we're gonna see this all on camera together. Let's see. I'm going to take my beauty blender and... Okay, how are we doing for shade match? Editing Zainab, let me know. How are we doing for shade match? I feel like the coverage is good. Looks like medium. The the finish is giving me the idea that this could definitely be builded up, but I don't know, what do I know? <laughs> so I did everywhere except my forehead. <laughs> Guess I didn't have enough thing for I'm just gonna do like a quarter of a pump for my forehead because obviously I don't think I need a full pump. I don't have a forehead guys, I have a five head. My forehead's huge. <laughs> So this is definitely hydrating. I see like a glowy. Oh my god, the sun's coming out. I think we are good. I'm gonna make sure there's no like 
harsh lines of where I obviously forgot how to blend it in properly. So I think the shade matches good. Let's see if I can show you guys. Oh, let me know. Do you guys think this is a match? This looks like it's a little bit light, but like nothing too bad. Um, like can be adjusted once I have all my face products on. But really beautiful finish. I don't think it's full coverage right now. Like I can still see here. Um, not big of a deal. I can still see some stuff on my chin. Again, not big of a deal. Not big deal. I'm not worried about it. So really pretty finish. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see how it works with all the other products we're using. Um, the primer, I loved how it felt. It was just felt like moisturizing and I feel like it did a lot for actually the foundation. Um, probably added on to me looking a little bit glowy. So let's just move on. So I'm just using my Too Faced um, chocolate bar per usual. I actually read like this very nice quote the other day and I don't know if I saved it on my phone but I really want to show you guys or like read it to you guys. Give me one second. I'm going to read this to you guys and maybe we can discuss a little about it a little bit. So the quote says, you are not everyone's cup of tea and that's okay. The world is filled with people who no matter what you do, no matter what you try, will simply not like you. But the world is also filled with those who will love you fiercely. The ones who love you, they are your people. Don't waste your infinite time and heart trying to trying to convince people who aren't for you, who aren't your people that you value that you have value. They will miss it completely. They won't buy what you're selling. Don't try to convince them to walk your path with you because you will only waste your time and your emotional good health. You are not for them and they are not for you. You are not their cup of tea and they are not yours. Seek to share your path with those who recognize and appreciate your gifts. Be who you are. You are not everyone's cup of tea and that is okay. The reason why I really like that quote might resonate with me is because I am not the kind of person who just like is everybody's cup of tea. Like it's just like that quote said, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And over the years I've had to convince myself or I used to convince myself that there's something so not right about me if not everybody likes me because I've always considered myself a nice person and sometimes I would sit there and be like, you know, if I'm so nice, why do why doesn't everybody like me? Such a dumb thing because you know, you're not made to be liked by everybody. Like, you know, you're not like chocolate. Like not everybody will like you. Speaking of, not everybody likes chocolate. So good, good example there. But you know, I, I worried so much like if I was nice to someone and I liked someone and I cared for somebody I would be so taken aback when they didn't like me back or like didn't not romantically I mean like didn't like me as a person um because I feel like I was like well I'm, I'm so nice to them and I'm so caring and I'm so this like why don't people like me and then I'm like you know what it's not my job to make sure people like me so like why am I doing that and it took me a long time to get out of that Mindset. Well, after a while, I just realized, do I really want to be friends with people who don't like me for me? Like, all that I am, and I will take accountability. If there's something about me that's not right and needs to be changed, of course, it's something that will change, like, human nature. I don't want people to deal with, like, a side of me that's not fun to be around. But I'm like, if all the good qualities I possess are not valuable for somebody else, why do I have to prove to them that it is valuable? So... I just stopped like I'm like you know not my job not my burden you don't like me I'm sorry like I don't know what I'm gonna do and I hope this is not coming off as me being mean like I'm not trying to be mean you guys but the thing is like my I just know my personality and the way I am is not for everybody and the only way I have come to terms with that is because as soon as I acknowledge that I'm a good person and I have a lot to offer to like a friendship or to people like a group of people um I just stopped caring about that so like stuff and I'm human so it still bothers me to this day when people I'm nice to I don't get reciprocated or like the thoughtfulness I put into things I it doesn't get reciprocated like feeling left out when I go out of my way to make sure people aren't left out it does hurt your feelings and you know a few days ago this happened to me where 
I felt left out, you know, and I honestly, now I'm just like, whatever, it's okay. I'm not for everybody. Not that, like, it's something I should be offended about, but I think... Am I losing my voice? <clears throat> um, if it's something that is not in my control, I'm not going to worry about it. Because I've spent so much of my time, you know, trying to fix people's ideas of me, and I'm like, it's not worth it. So I think the people who are your people, like that quote referred to, you won't have to prove anything to them. They will know you for the great person you are, for the great heart you have. Being lonely and stuff is not fun. But I feel like you grow from all these times in your life. Like you don't learn lessons from the good times, you learn lessons from the hard times. Why is this going so philosophical? Anyways, I like that quote, that's my point. <laughs> Those who will love you will love you for you, do not try with other people, okay? They're not your people, you're not their people, you're beautiful, you are good enough, you are amazing, you are a burst of sunshine, you're just not a burst of sunshine to everybody. And do you know that quote, here's another quote, that you could be the juiciest peach in the world and there will be someone that will come along and say, I don't like peaches? It's not a reflection of your character. Do you really need people's approval? No, you don't. So for concealer, I used my Too Faced um, Wordless Way Multi Sculpting. This is in the shade Light Beige. Does not look light beige in this bottle, but it is. Um, one of my favorite concealers. I actually think it is my favorite concealer. I think the foundation is still looking great so far. We're gonna go ahead and set. Okay, you guys, here's. Here's the first time I dealt with makeup heartbreak, okay? So it's the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder, you guys. Becca didn't deserve, like, we didn't deserve Becca, okay? They had such good products and we didn't appreciate it. Now that we're out of business, I'm just kidding. That's probably not the reason, but like, I feel like that now. Like, I didn't appreciate Becca enough and, you know, now she's going out of business because of me. No, I'm just kidding. This powder is so... This powder is so amazing. I've been loving this for setting my concealer and I'm so like upset because the first day I tried it I was like oh, I need to buy more before it goes like away forever and there's no more. I cannot find it anywhere. I'm not happy. Anyways, this powder is really great. If you have it, like consider yourself blessed. I don't know what to tell you. I've been loving this powder, you guys. Ugh. Why? I really wish Sephora would like just put a few more out, but they obviously don't. I think they're just using what they have and then they're like out, out. But I love this powder, you guys. Why did I appreciate it? <laughs> so that's my under eye set. Using the Tati Beauty Puff. My other ones are currently being dried because they are, just got washed. They just had a bath. But it's a really good powder. It's fine. I'll get over it. I will get over it. Okay. I don't know how this looks on camera, you guys. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. It's just highlighting my brow bone. Oh my god, I thought it was not like recording for a second. If you smile, it helps you tell where your like apples of your cheeks are. Proceeding to make more mess. Okay. You guys, I forgot to do a thumbnail photo for my last video, so I had to like YouTube pick the thumbnail, and it's like, like why? You would think by this time, like being a few videos in, I would remember to do a thumbnail, but no, I didn't, so. Maybelline Rocket Mascara. I really like the brush on this. I like that it's spiky and I feel like it grabs <clears throat> grabs every lash, bruh. What is wrong with my voice? 
I am a voice double for Vin Diesel. <laughs> I love Vin Diesel. Okay, I don't want that to get twisted. I love him. I love Vin Diesel. So there's the difference. Do you know what's like a skill I want to learn? I don't know. Don't ask me why too, okay? I want to... I forgot what the word is. Is it ambivectress? Extras? Where you're able to use both hands. Like, I'm right-handed. But I would love to learn how to be left-handed as well. Like, just looking at my frame right now, I was like, how would it be cool if I could curl with this hand? Which I can, but it feels like it's so light. Like, I feel like I'm not doing anything. Let's go back to the normal hand, shall we? Okay, so that is done and I have a bunch of mascara on my lids, but we're just going to go ahead and move on to the lipstick and then we will go ahead and fix that later. This is such a beautiful color, ugh. Okay, that is done. Okay, we are going to go ahead and remove the mascara that I made. Oh god, this one here is not coming off, okay. So I think I have all of them off, but this one here there's powder on it <laughs> doesn't look like it's coming off you guys that's not helpful okay that's okay anyways this was everything this was me getting ready this morning and this was uh, you guys able to see my uh, first impressions of the Fenty foundation, the Too Faced primer, the Body Shop Vitamin C lotion. Everything just melded together. So far, I think everything looks really good. You are super zoomed in right now, so yeah. Uh, so far, everything looks really nice I noticed that there's mascara on my bottom eye I know that please if you see that I can't take it off it's like not coming off <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it you know I don't think anyone's gonna notice so except for you guys you guys noticed it but anyways that'll be it for now I am going to go ahead and get dressed all right guys so I am all done now I had uh, kind of cleaned up my room table a little bit sort of not really um, and I am just getting ready to head out so I just wanted to film a quick little outro. I will possibly be doing little check-ins here and there. Or I'm just thinking by the end of the day I will just do because of... If it was just the foundation I probably would have done check-ins like I did with my cover girl. But since we did a full face of a bunch of stuff I will check in hopefully by the end of the day. Maybe a check-in in between but we will see. So I just wanted to give you guys a final update since I wasn't able to do a check-in. That I really enjoyed the foundation and the primer and it is a hit. We'll see how that goes. This camera needs to be charged. I need to get new batteries. So I'm going to gonna, I'm going to go. I can't even speak. I'm going to go have coffee, get my brain in check, go run some errands, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.